All right, so now we're going to look at the angles in a circle. And remember, we have different types of angles. We have angles that are on the circle. We have angles that are outside the circle. And we have angles that are inside the circle. And then inside the circle, we have angles that are inside the circle, but not in the center. And we have angles that are in the center. So there's all kinds. So let's look at the first one here. Find the measure of the angle. Well, I'm going to look at this angle right here. This angle is what we call inscribed. It's on the circle. Keyword, on. Anything that is on the circle is one half of the intercepted arc. One half of the intercepted arc. So let's look at this here. That means this angle right here is going to be one half of this arc. Okay? So this angle is on the circle, so it's one half the arc. So I need to know what this arc is. Well, what do I know the angles of a circle add up to? The total degrees of a circle, the measurements? 360. Well, this is 60 and this is 140. So 60 plus 140 gives me 200 degrees. Now that means that this piece right here is 200 degrees. So if that's 200 and the entire circle is 360, I'm going to take 360 and subtract 200 and that's going to give me 160 degrees for this arc. Again, I know that the arc, the circle adds to 360, so this is 160. This is on the circle, so it's one half. So if at that 60, the angle on the circle would be 80. So the measure of angle one is 80 degrees. Again, that's because it's on the circle. All right, so let's look, look at the next one. Okay, find the value of x. Same thing, where are these angles? These angles are, and I'm going to use my same colors here, these angles are on the circle. So that means they're one half of the intercepted arc. So let's look at this one. What does this angle right here open up to? Well, that angle opens up to this arc, right? Okay. Let's look at the other one. What does this angle open to? This angle opens up to this arc. What do you notice about those two arcs that the angles open up to? Isn't this a diameter? Therefore, that's half the circle. So together, what do these two arcs add up to? 180, right? Okay, so I know that the arcs together are gonna be 180, but I have to figure out what the measurement of the arcs is of each one. Now, we talked about how, this is really getting frustrated, this is one half of this, right? So if this right here is 5x plus 8, wouldn't this arc right here be 10x plus 16? Because don't I take this and double it to get the arc? Remember, on the circle is half the arc. So let's look at the other one. This angle right here is half of this arc. Well, this angle is 2x plus 5, so if I double this, that's 4x plus 10. So here are my two arcs. And what do I know those two arcs add up to? 180. So 4x plus 10 plus 10x plus 16 equals 180. I'm going to combine, so I have 14x plus 26 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 26 from both sides. So 14x equals 180 minus 26 is 154. And so x is equal to 11. Again, this is all algebra over here. But these angles are half of their arcs. So if this angle is 2x plus 5, the arc is 4x plus 10. We doubled it. If this angle is 5x plus 8, then the arc is 10x plus 16 because it's where? On the circle. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Again, we are on the circle, on the circle. What does this angle open up to? This red arc right here, right? And since this is on the circle, what does that mean? It's one half of the arc, okay? It's one half of the arc. So if the angle is 2x, what's the arc going to be? 4x. Okay, because the angle is on the circle. It's one half the arc. You're going to get sick of me saying that. All right, let's look at this angle now. What does that angle open up to? 
that angle opens up to the pink arc, right? And it's on the circle, so it's half the arc. So if this is 3x, the arc is 6x, right? And what do we know that the entire circle is going to add up to? 360. So 6x plus 4x equals 360, because those two arcs take up the entire circle. So 10x equals 360. I divide both sides by 10, so x equals 36. Again, I'm looking at these on the circle. I know they open up to arcs that they are half as big as. So the angles on the circle are half as big as the intercepted arcs, okay? So let's move to the next example. Let's move down here if I can actually keep this in frame. Okay, so what we have here is we have arcs and we have angles. Where is this angle now? This angle is inside the circle. That means arc plus arc divided by 2. On the circle, one half the arc. Inside the circle, arc plus arc divided by 2. So we know that BC is 125. So I'm going to kind of mark this here. That's 125 degrees. And we know that DA is 15 degrees. So the question is, what is the measure of angle 1? That's this one which also happens to be the same measure as this one because those are what? Vertical angles. Well, when you're looking for that, you're looking for the two arcs that go with the two vertical angles. So this arc 15 goes with angle 1. The 125 goes with its vertical, which is 125. And then you divide it by 2. It's the average of the two arcs. We're looking for this angle right there. It's the average of the two arcs. So I end up getting 140 divided by 2. So the answer is 70 degrees. Again, inside the circle, but not in the center. You add the two arcs and you divide by two. Okay, so let's look at a couple of other angles that we have. All right, so we have this one here, which kind of looks like a flattened jack-in-the-box antenna thing. You guys were probably not even born yet when they were doing those. So where is our angle now? It's outside the circle. Remember, on the circle, one half the arc. Inside the circle, arc plus arc divided by two. Outside the circle, arc minus arc divided by two. Because this angle is outside. So what are the two arcs that this angle intercepts? The green one. That's arc number one. That's the big one. And then the red one. These are the two arcs that that angle opens up to. Well, I know the red one is 150. So how do I find the green one? What do I know the entire circle adds to? The entire circle adds to 360. So if I subtract the 150 away, that means that this arc right here is 210. So do I have my two arcs now? Yes. And since it's outside the circle, we subtract them. So it's 210 minus 150 divided by 2. 210 minus 50, 150, sorry, is 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So x is 30 degrees. That means this angle is 30. 210 minus 50 divided by 2 is 30. Okay, so let's look at the next picture. The next picture has a combination. So DA is 62, that's 62 degrees, and BC is 72, that's 72 degrees. So find the measure of angle 1, okay? Well, how do I find the measure of angle 1? Well, where is angle 1? Angle 1 is inside the circle. What do we do on inside? Arc plus arc divided by 2. So I'm looking for angle 1, all right? Which means I need this arc and this arc, doesn't it? Well, do you remember the linear pair? Angle 1 and 2 add up to 180, right? If I can find this angle, won't I be able to find angle 1? 
because they're a linear pair. Let's use what we have. I have 62 and 72. So I'm going to have 62 plus 72 divided by 2. Remember, it's inside the circle, so you add the arcs. <clears throat> I get 134 over 2, which is 67 degrees. That means that these two angles are 67. So how could I then find angle 1? Well, I can find angle 1 because since I did arc plus arc divided by 2 and got these two guys, doesn't this one make a linear pair with 67? So if this is 67, this has to be 113 because linear pairs have to add up to 180. Remember we used to do that? So that's 113 and that's 113. Linear pairs add up to 180. Okay, and that's your angle measures.